सो फ्रेंड्स आज अब हम पढ़ेंगे इस वीडियो में व्हाट इज एल एल पी फॉर्मेशन एंड कन्वर्जन ऑफ लिमिटेड लाइब्रेटी पार्टनरशिप तो 2013 में जैसे मैंने पिछले वीडियो में बताया था कंपनीज एक्ट 1956 अमेंड किया गया था और उसमें ओपीसी स्मॉल कंपनीज एल एल पीज को रिकोगशन दिया गया था एंड दिस इज हाउ लिमिटेड लाइब्रेटी पार्टनरशिप वॉज फॉर्म बिकॉज अदरवाइज पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म्स हैव अनलिमिटेड लाइब्रिटीज पार्टनर्स हैव अनलिमिटेड लाइब्रिटी प्लस इफ द पार्टनर डाइड इन द पार्टनरशिप अकाउंट वी हैव टू क्लोज द अकाउंट बट हेयर एल एल पी इज अ परपेचुअल एंटिटी पार्टनर में डाय डेजिग्नेटेड पार्टनर में लीव पार्टनर्स में ज्वाइन द अकाउंट कंटिन्यूज फॉर एवर राइट सो वील जस्ट सी द फीचर्स ब्रीफली विल डिस्कस विल गिव इन आइडिया So what we'll do is, why do we need separate form of organization? Comparison existing options. Who can prefer LLPs? Who cannot? Incorporation of LLPs. Concepts. What are the important concepts? Conversions. Critical aspects of conversion and other matters. So slide will give you an overall view what LLP is. Right? It's very common and normal nowadays. People are forming this LLP. So why do we need separate form of organization? Why a need was felt in Amendment 2013 that we should have LLPs and OPCs. The rationale was that there is no need for a multidisciplinary professional firm. There is restriction on number of partners under Section 464. That is, uh, 15 case of non-banking and 20 case of banking. Right? So we cannot have more than 50 members or partners in the partnership firms. Big hurdle is the liability of all partners unlimited, because liability is unlimited. That is the biggest uh, you can say the uh you can say is uh, that is the biggest drawback of that right so a need was found sme small micro enterprises cannot cope with the corporate financial rigidity dividend capital related party transactions so smes entities they can form llps without having to undergo all the rigidities of paying dividends if the profit is their capital related party activities and of course audit and balance sheets sme cannot cope with the compliance requirements of company so it's a very small entity company is a very large entity sme sector generally does not raise money from public they don't go to public like private sector companies only public limited companies can go to public so sme sector does not does not really raise money from the public So what is LLP? Provisions of Partnership Act not applicable. Provisions of Companies Act, excepting winding up, not applicable. Except winding up, it's not applicable, right? So we have mix of features of partnership as well as Companies Act in the LLP, Limited Liability Partnership. So comparison with existing options, we have partnership in the first column, particulars, Limited Liability Partnership and companies, legal entity, no separate entity. LLP is a separate entity. Company is a separate entity. Perpetual succession partnership it is not applicable. So when the partner dies, we have to close the account after freezing and then getting the death certificate of the partner who has died. Succession perpetual is available in case of LLPs and companies account. Liability partnership unlimited. LLP companies it is limited. Does the LLP really have perpetual succession? Question is this. LLP is liable in case of wrongful or omission by the partner in course of business. LLP is not liable if the outsider is aware that partner has no authority to act. Right? The, every sentence is very important. If outsider is aware that he has no authority to act and he is acting, so he is not liable. LLP is not liable. Partner is not liable for wrongful act omission of another partner's LLP, which is uh, not there in case of partnership. in case of partnerships partners are liable for wrongful act and omission partners may be personally liable auditors liability right partners should indemnify the lp for any loss caused by it, by it by his fraud in conduct of the business so partner has to indemnify in case of any loss so that partner has to bear the loss in case any action of his causes any loss to the llp comparisons right the compliance level partnership it is low llp moderate company is very high audit audit every quarter you have to get balance sheets published audited right you have to declare the results dividend distribution tax ddt not applicable in case of partnership llp not applicable 
companies it is applicable dispute resolution system it is only available in case of company making investment in shares llp can go to public that they can invest in shares these llps they can buy shares they can go into equity market and company can also invest in shares fdi foreign direct investment right odi ecb external commercial borrowings partnership is eligible llp fdi where there is no sectoral caps conditions odi is allowed company is eligible nbfcs public limited companies they can form but llp and partnership they cannot form nbfcs from bankers point of view unfavorable partnership llp unfavorable but company is favorable who can prefer llp asset holding company the main company who forms various subsidiaries best for joint venture entities those who start a joint venture llp is the best form to start a joint venture all partnerships uh, article of persons with no long long term objectives right aop with long term objectives any company not having bank loans professional firms ca cs cwa right so they can association of people all partnerships oblique aops association of people with long term objectives so people can form association in the shape of llp service sector and real estate who can go for llp not prefer, uh, ngos they are not into uh, profit making financial investment entities still rbi recognized as llp fdi is not allowed where there are sectoral caps or conditions are there in corporation partnership agreement is required to be entered right at least two partners at least two individuals are required to be designated as partners we call them designated partners the so designated partners they do all the official work or all the required work for forming an llp with the registrar of companies and all that at least one of the designated partners should be resident in india so one designated partner should be resident indian so nri can be there but one at least should be indian so concepts uh, there are few concepts in llps one is partner designated partner contribution and llp agreement has to be there right so designated partners are those partners who see the legal formalities to be completed before llp is formed so they are responsible and uh, accountable to get the legal formalities completed before llp is formed partner is agent of llp not of other partners right partner is an agent of llp not of other partners so it's not jointly and severally right so it is severally liable principle of agency agency's relationship is subsists between the principal and the agent agent bound to conduct business on the directors of the principal the so agent is who he is the partner agent is bound to conduct business with reasonable skill and diligence agent is bound to render proper accounts to its own principal with agents acts otherwise is liable to make the loss good to the principal in case of any loss so he has to compensate to the llp agent to compensate principal in case of negligence also right designate partner is a condition similar to officer in default contribution is not a capital contribution is similar to guarantee contribution need not be basis of voting or control contribution need not be basis of profit sharing also right so it is not designed there what is a profit sharing what is a guarantee what is a capital right voting rights right llp agreement provisions of the indian partnership act 32 shall not apply to llp in the absence of uh, provisions of llp agreement of first schedule are applicable right only the first schedule of uh, indian partnership act 1932 is applicable first schedule is partnership act llp act has only 81 sections four schedules not like companies act no partner shall draw remuneration no will get salary right llp shall indemnify partners against liabilities incurred in ordinary courses each partner shall have one vote in the meeting no partner can be admitted with consent of all the partners decision taken at partners meeting should be uh, minuted within 30 days if there should be minutes noted in a register new business can be started with consent of all the partners partner shall not compete with llps and partners cannot derive any benefit from llp without consent of the partners important aspects of llp agreement profit sharing pattern voting contribution may not be related 
So it's not that if I contribute more, I'll be, be able to draw more profit from the LLP. Powers of designated partner and partners to be specified. Decision making process to be defined. Exit mechanisms if some partner wants to exit. Dispute resolution. Article of Association of Public Companies can be the basis, right? So it has rules of management. Article of Association has rules of management into it. Agreement for family businesses, venture capital undertaking, widely held companies will be different. Contents of LLP agreement, name registered office partners, changes in partners, designated partners. So you can see in the slide management, meeting, votings, partner contributions, profit sharing, books of account and statutory records and filings, right? So these are basically part of LLP agreement. It is detailedly given in the LLP agreement. Content of LLP agreement, statutory auditors, right duties of partners, partnership relations, consequences of breach of covenants, title of property, winding up and general provisions of dispute, waiver, severability, so that is jointly and severally, right? So separately, severably, notices, jurisdiction and savings. The process for incorporation is obtained DIN number, right? To designated partner identification number. Apply in form 1, enter LLP agreement, submit form 2, obtain certificate of registration, submit form 3 within 30 days, process time 15 to 20 days, LLP can be uh, um, brought into existence. Registration is now decentralized to the respective ROCs. ROCs are registrar of companies. All the assets, liabilities of the firm would get vested in LLP. All the partners become partners of LLP. Partnership firm registered with registrar of firms stands dissolved. In case a partnership firm has been converted into LLP, right? So a partnership can be converted into LLP. Then partnership firm registered with registrar of firms gets dissolved. Partners personally liable for liabilities incurred before conversion. Consent of all creditors is required. Statement of asset liabilities by CA of uh, less than 30 days. Acknowledgement of last income tax returns are there. Conversion of company to LLP. Even a private limited or public limited can be converted into LLP. There should not be any security interest on the assets of the company. Right? It should be of free assets should be there. There should not be any charge on it. All the assets and liabilities of the company would get vested in LLP. All shareholders become partners of LLP. So all the shareholders become partners of LLP. Consent of all creditors is required standard assets and liabilities to be jotted down by the chartered accountant should be uh, less than 30 days. Acknowledgement of last income tax returns and company stands dissolved in case company is converted into LLP. The process of conversion is given in your slide. You can note it down later on also. So I won't repeat each and every one. So it's like updating residential status, apply for form. The same we had seen earlier. Conversion in Form 2, in Form 17 or 18, obtain Certificate of Conversion, enter LLP agreement within 30 days, submit the Form 3, filing Form 14, right? So these all are centralized with registrar of companies. They can go on the website and do the all the conversion there also. The critical aspects of conversions, kya hai? equity capital, how will it be taken? Treatment equity capital, differential voting rights, treatment of profession capital, all these will be taken care in the conversion, right? In the LLP agreement. Stamp duty implications, changes in licenses, government registrations, this will be taken care of. So seven partners minimum are required, right? Consent of secured characters, no default in filing of forms, right? The LLP can be converted into company, but minimum seven partners are required for a public limited company, right? Conversion of LLP into company process. So these are the process given in the slide. So those who are, those of you are interested, they can note it down. So INC1, these are available online also. LLP into companies, URC1, INC7, INC22. These are some of the DIR12. These are some of the forms available on, on online also. And you can apply, the person, uh, the people can apply on online also. So attachment of form URC, just I have given these, so those who are interested much more into it, they can go through this slide, list of partners, list of directors and affidavit from all partners, stating post 
registration docs shall be submitted for dissolution copies of all previous deeds and uh, certificate of incorporation coi consent or nfc from security creditors written consent from majority of members partners for conversions right you are see these are some of the uh, options given when you convert conversion takes place so you can note it down from the slide those who are interested into all that right whether doctrine of ultra virus is applicable, the incorporation document shall state the process business of limited liability partnership, right? So whether doctrine of ultra virus is applicable in this, we'll let you know. So friends, doctrine of ultra virus means acting beyond powers, right? So, so in companies, it is uh, applicable like a doctrine of ultra virus if the company acts beyond the powers of the director. If that act is considered null and void, it does not have any legal sanctity to it, that is called doctrine of ultra virus, right? So questions are there, can LP issue debentures bonds, convert it into company firms, have share capital stock exchanges, can they list on stock exchanges, can they invest in incidental businesses also? So unless otherwise stated in agreement admission consent of all partners resignation notice in writing not less than 30 days removal no majority of the partners can expel any partner unless power to do so has been conferred in express agreement between the partners right so designated partners the same is there consent of all partners is required for admission notice of 30 days right uh, registrar of uh, office registered office unless otherwise stated in agreement so, concept of secured credit is required, notice of change, if you want to change the address, right, this is available here. Contribution, increase, no provisions, no provisions, reduction, withdrawal cannot be done here, right. Voting, one partner, one vote, profit and loss, equal ratio, this is irrespective of their contributions, right. Accounting on cash basis or credit basis, according to double entry system of accounting, maintain a registered office. Records have to be preserved for 8 years, statement of account and solvency, statement within 6 months from the end of the year, form 8 within 30 days, signed by designated partner of LLP, approved by each designated partners. Audit is mandatory for LLP having turnover exceeds 40 lakhs in any financial year. So any, any LLP having turnover excess of 40 lakhs, audit is mandatory where whose contribution exceeds 25 lakhs in any financial LLP which are exempted from audit does not get accounts audited statements to be included in statement of account and solvency by partners to effect that partners acknowledge their responsibility for complying with the requirements of the act so auditor chartered accountant in practice 10 year one financial year so this is all that this is given here an auditor could if you want to avoid or you want appoint auditor or you want to remove him all these powers are there and how to exit lastly the striking of name of LLP, LLP not carrying any business or operations for a period of two years or more the ROC can uh, close the LLP sue moto means without any notice if any LLP is not working for two years and more for a period one year and more LLP have made application to registrar for striking of Practical issues, form 3 of incorporations, form 8 and 11 at least once. I think this we have covered mostly LPs. Uh, LP may apply for striking of its own, okay, they want to close down to form E, form 24 along with authority, partners, consent, we need consent and copy of latest income tax return, a statement of assets and liabilities, undertaking indemnity bond, form should not be prescribed. So this we have done, right? So this all we covered limited liability partnership. Now people are uh, forming these LLPs more than company because private limited companies, public limited companies, there are a lot of restrictions for audit and all that. Here it, the, the liability statutory obligation is less than companies plus partnership man, liability is unlimited here. So hope this was a grand uh, presentation for LLP. I think basic concept. You can jot it down main main points and to start opening. So before you open an account of LLP, you have you have to keep these points that I have discussed in detail here while opening the account of limited liability partnership, which is a combo of partnership and companies features both combined. Thank you.